Hello everyone! What we are discussing today is uh, uh, selling imported fruits. How you can earn a profitable business income. Now that we are in the middle of a financial crisis due to the outcome of the pandemic, the increasing demand and price of all commodities, most of the Filipinos are hardly capable to afford it. However, many people still uh, try to earn money in this type of business because it's also earned um, a profit especially if there is a place in the market uh, as you can notice most of the stores and in the market people are usually found selling these kinds of goods so if you are planning to sell them first make sure to find a good place that is sure to have a lot of people are accessible to everyone and widen your market through online selling and uh, secondly find vendors that have um, large markets that are home to most local fruits as well as imported fruit so make sure you have someone to help with the sales online sellers will be a good advantage for you to offer it to them at a wholesale price Mm, there is a profit to be made from this type of sales as long as you are diligent in your business. It will surely grow once sellers already know you for a very affordable low prices. Apples, grapes, pears, perisimon, oranges, and many others are commonly sold especially during peak seasons like New Year, Christmas, and holidays. Once you have built a good store and have the investment, you must have customers who buy your goods from your everyday as well. Be prepared to offer a good promotion because the Filipinos love it there. Uh, just business, it takes hard work and um, perseverance to enjoy profitably and quickly expand. A simple fruits that you can share is a blessing to everyone. Um, you can arrange a free delivery or personally deliver it to your clients like what we are doing. Knowing your client is an advantage to gathering as much as many clients from their respective circle of friends and acquaintances. This is the most important that, that you will know. Uh, this is an important fruit, so always assume that not all goods or kalakal are in pretty good shape and of good quality. Um, the rest of all foods like fruits are likely easy to spoil or become unsafe to consume it. So, if not kept refrigerated at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or below, Ensure you have stories for your extra items that you cannot sell within 24 hours. Always remember, happy customers are that they refer your store or you to others. They bring their relatives, friends, or colleagues and turn them into your referrals. The more your customers are happy and satisfied with your service, the more likely they are to spread over the market. We must considering to put our products in our chosen marketplace at a price that is attractive to our customers and at the same time profitable to us. Aww. Always ensure a good relationship with your clients all the time. So, happy selling everyone!